Hello everybody, this is Mark for Endgame III again, and today we are show I'm going to be showing you my version of the Colosseum. I uh, had this idea after watching uh, a movie about the Gladiator. I had the idea of making a Colosseum. Now here's the entrance way. Got a little fountain here, and these this little bench, and these lights. Something special about these lights is that they only turn on at night. And it's automatic. How we did that is I looked on YouTube for videos. And we found out that villagers only go outside during the day. So chances are one of these villagers in these little holding areas here are going to be outside. So they will be on those pressure pads. So chances are one of them will be during the day. And underneath here I have the redstone workings for it and there's an inverter in here which causes the redstone signal to change to a knot before it reaches the lights when the pressure pads are on therefore the lights only turn on during the night which is very cool now on to the Colosseum if you're a general public come up into straight and you go up into general seating this is very nice grassy seating, comfy. Uh, you can watch the whole show. Uh, on the other side, we have another entrance way, just for other another way to get around. I'll show you that quick. Uh, on the way over here, there's some windows in the wall here, and you can watch. Uh, that's a staging area back there. I'll get to that later in the video. You can watch the people who will be fighting in the Colosseum stage whatever they're doing get ready for the fight on your walk over here or before the fight and that's the other side um, up on the right over there is that's where the nobility or king or emperor would be sitting I'll show you that next for time's sake I'm going to fly over there now the reason the water is surrounding the Colosseum here on the for the walls is I was really just too lazy to make real walls and it kind of seemed like a cool idea at the time. So over here this will be the stairs leading up to the nobility seat and over here we also have the concession stand. And you can see we have a very good selection of uh, different items here you can buy. Inside the concession stand, well, there's, uh, I don't know, it just looks like a kitchen. General Minecraft kitchen I guess. We got some stairs, nice skylights here. And this is where the king would sit. And now the king has a very unique ability compared to anybody else in the Colosseum. He can use these switches here to control water pillars coming out of the ceiling. And each switch corresponds to one of the four spouts on the ceiling there. So if the fight's getting a little boring, he can liven it up a little bit, I guess. I'm not really sure what I made that for, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay, so besides seating for general public in this Colosseum, we have an area for either prisoners or people who want to just come out and fight someone that they have a beef with or something like that, I don't really know. But anyway, if you want to just come and have a fight or boxing or whatever, they do all kinds of different things at this Colosseum. You come into this door on the right here. And you come over to this holding cell, and there would be a guard sitting in this room with this door locked so no one could get to him. And he'd be keeping an eye on the people, the general public, who just want to have a fight or whatever. And so they can come in here and kind of get ready, and this is also where the public can watch them get ready. They can do whatever they need to do in that room. And this is always also where, before the fight, the guard will make sure everybody's ready before he opens these doors. And these doors are activated by this switch, which allows them to go out onto the Colosseum floor. And that is where the fight would take place. On the other side, if we go back outside, actually, 
Never mind, we're gonna go in here first. This is another guard's room for the other side, which I'll show you next. And this guard just keeps an eye on any inmates who will be coming in to the Coliseum. Basically just watches them. And what I mean by inmates is if we had a prison in this world, which we don't at this time, uh, they'd be coming in this door, which is on the left side here. Of course, under guard, they would be coming in. And they'd be forcibly put into these, uh, they'd walk past this window here, which is where I just was, and they would be forcibly put into either one of these two areas, it doesn't really matter. And each area is, goes down to underneath the floor of the Colosseum, and it goes to holding cells for individual prisoners or what have you. And there are also, I believe on the other side, yeah, that's a pretty big one, that might be for more than one prisoner. I don't remember exactly, I made this quite a long time ago. And then this is their staging area down here. And then they would be going all the way through this hallway here to the opposite side of the Colosseum where the general public can go in to fight. And this, these are each areas where they, they will be coming out of to fight, one from each side. And this side is just goes to the same thing except for that this is this goes to the other door so if you go back through here um, you come up on the right door instead so it's basically just a shadow of itself underneath the Colosseum floor underneath the arena floor and there's also a staging area on this side as well so if you go back over here to this side, a guard would also be standing in this room, lock himself in, and he would be able to control whether or not people are allowed to enter the floor this way. And that is basically the Colosseum. Now there is a little bit of redstone work in this one with uh, these doors, as well as the spouts up on top here, which are actually really simple. And that goes down to uh, over here. Goes down to the switches, which are right under these torches, actually. So that is the Colosseum that I made. Uh, if you guys have any questions or ideas to improve it, or changes that you'd like to see, or any area of it that you'd like to see me show you how to build, please comment on it. Uh, like the video. It's, uh, it took me a while to build this one, so it would be really cool if you could like it. Uh, if you'd like to, subscribe. Don't. We're not really asking for subscribers, but hey, if you like the channel, go ahead. Um, so that's the Coliseum. For their next video, I might be showing you what the rest of that building is there. And you'll just have to wait and see to find out what it is. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do that every time. I'll show you a little snippet of what the next video is going to be about. So you're kind of, kind of uh, wondering what it is. So we will see you next time we have a video. Thanks for watching.